Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is our first Finance Friday in a while and I'm really, really excited. I did wanna just like get on in front of the camera before we go to my notebook that I'm bringing back today. Um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about where I am financially and just kinda of give you an overview of that. So if you've seen my recent videos, you know that I just paid off my credit cards with all the bar exam fees and hotels and interview travel fees and all that stuff. It's finally paid off for the first time in two and a half years. I have no credit card debt. I don't even have any balances on my cards right now. So yay for that. Um, but that means that I'm shifting my focus to paying off my car. And I'm going to update you guys with where I am in that. So essentially my goal is to pay off my car by the end of the year. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I'm going to work as hard as I can to do that. And basically I'm just going to continue with what I was doing to pay off my credit cards every week whatever i make is what i will put towards my car now the only thing it's a little bit different with this last week i was really excited to start paying it off so i paid a little bit more than what i made and i brought my car down to the amount that you'll see in just a minute i'm still debating whether i'm going to then make an additional payment towards it with the exact amount that i made last week because i do still have a little bit more savings that I can put towards that. Um, I just haven't decided if I wanna do that yet. But with that, let's go ahead and get into the notebook portion of this video. Alrighty. Okay, so here is my finance notebook with whatever stains are on it um, that I just found recently. Gosh, look at that. This was like the very beginning of the year. This was last year. But this was the very beginning of the year. This was what my debt totals were. Oh my gosh. Dang. Okay, let's just go through this because nostalgia and just to see how far we've come. So at the very beginning of the year, I had five different debts that I need to pay off. So I owed my mom for the Airbnb when I worked out of state and I didn't have enough money to pay for it. My mom let me use her credit card and then I needed to pay her back this $1,200, which I paid on, I paid in mid-April. So then my lower balance credit card, I owed about almost 2,500. The other one I owed 3,200. And this I had already been working down. And then with my car loan, I owed a little bit over 11,000. My law school loan was $173,900. So let's see where we were the last time I updated you guys. So I had a total debt of $191,143.06 to be specific. Um, my student loans were $174,783.01. And I'm pretty sure that's frozen still. I don't think that the car loan, you guys know that's what we're focused on, but it actually is lower than that. Um, but it was $10,736.73. And then these guys, the credit cards, I owed, oh my gosh, at that point I still owed $3,215.24 on the one that I just paid off recently. And I owed... $2,408.08 on the one that I paid off in June or July. And that was when I had paid off what I owed my mom. So we've come a long, long way. So let's go ahead and update this. It's going to look a little bit different from this. I shared what I had in my checking and savings. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I will write like what I make and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and do this. What's today? October 1st. You guys will see this tomorrow, but it's October 1st right now. Happy October. Last week, I made $5.55. This week, projected... I get paid hourly 
but this is the minimum that I get paid. I already paid tithe. Lately, I've been trying to just keep it to the exact amount, and uh, which is 10% of what I make. The, this part is bills coming out. The only three that I have are my car payment, my car insurance, and my health, because, um, oh my gosh, at that point I was still behind on paying my health insurance, because I owed 500. I actually, my health insurance monthly is 250 but I was behind at that point still. So, um, wow. Payment because these guys are gone, thankfully. So let's go thankfully. Ahead. So let's go ahead and, and transfer this over. It's 250 and some cents, but I just write 250. Like then my car insurance which I really do need to contact them because I may actually be paying too much. So I pay about 165 a month. Will be about 260. Well, I am not at the point where I have to like take what I made and subtract it all out and see, you know, what I need to do with every single dollar. As you can probably tell, this would not be enough to pay, like it, I, would, I did not make enough last week to pay all of this, but I do have savings because some weeks I make more than others. Being said, I think we're at the point where I'm not gonna need two whole pages. That's not necessary, so. So I'm just gonna write what day this is due. really bugs me that I wrote those out of order, but it's fine for right now. So I have to pay like $675 a month on my bills right now, which once that car payment is gone, it will be so much better to only owe like $400 a month for insurance because insurance is important and <laughs> required, but uh, things are looking good. So let's write note to self. Credit cards paid in full. Mm, exclamation point and some stars. That's how I draw stars. <laughs> Two out of five, check. Debt. Three out of five, check. Guys, I can't wait till 2021 when we tackle the student loans. Oh my word. That's gonna be an adventure. Okay, so you guys saw last time I owed $10,736.73. So after the payments that I've made in the last several months, I owed 96.19 and some cents. Um, so, I current, so I paid $619, which was a little bit more than what I made last week, as you can see. And that is why I'm considering putting $555 more towards it, because that would bring it down to $84.45. That would be great. But I'm not sure yet. So right now, the balance is 9000 And fortunately, I get paid weekly, as you can see. So every week this will go down, which is gonna be so fun to watch. And let's just note, no other debt. Just for the fun of it. Oh my gosh, my computer. So I still owe one, seven, four, seven, eight, three, oh, one. And so to be fully honest, it's sometimes really hard for me to celebrate these other debt payoffs because they're, they're so easy compared to what I'm gonna have to tackle once this is paid off, but it's the little steps. And I am going to be breaking down my student loans. You can see right there, I wrote them all out. So I'll be breaking it down and paying off like this 32,000 one first. 
and then going down so I'm not like feeling like oh my gosh it's you know 173,000 now <laughs> instead of I guess basically what I'm saying is making it manageable so that we can really see the progress is what I'll be doing is oh gosh math okay 183 I made it easy on myself this week 183 783 I like that number. I don't love that I owe that number, but I like the number itself. So that is how much I currently have in debt. It has gone down, obviously, and thankfully, student loans stayed the same, car payment gone down. So that's what we owe, that's what I owe. You guys don't owe anything, although I appreciate you watching this. <laughs> but that is what I currently Oh, and I don't, don't know how much I'm going to get paid. Like I said, I think about $750 this week, so that car payment will be lower next week, and I cannot wait for that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you will tune in next week to see all that I get to take care of in the next week. On that note, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like this video if you enjoyed watching me write out my finances. Um, comment and let me know if you are in the middle of a debt payoff journey or if you want to start one or if you finished one or if you're just or actually if you're just really fortunate that you've never had to deal with debt. You can comment that too um, and yeah we'll just have a conversation. With that I will talk to you guys on Tuesday with a video about priorities how I organize my priorities to do the things that I actually value instead of just talking about them, um, and then how you guys can do that too. I'm going to show you guys how I set it up. All right, I will talk to you guys then. Bye!